How many of you in here have a Saluma device? So we've got a, a few of you, okay, great. So um, we're talking to you about how I have chosen to use it in practice with patients. And we're talking to the rest of you about, you know, how I've chosen to use it in practice, right? <laughs> so just listening to it a little more theoretically. So increased ATP results in improved cellular function, which generates a cascade of metabolic events. We increase ATP causing these metabolic events, including DNA and RNA synthesis, modulation of radical oxygen species, and induction of transcription factors, first step in the protein synthesis, which is what we talked about all day today. So the protein and the collagen synthesis is increased. So now you're actually aiding in exactly what we looked at, DNA out into cytoplasm, so transcribing your information into actual function. It results in biochemical cellular changes. Mitosis is supported. That means repair is happening. Um, you're getting a reduction in the prevention of cell death, stimulation of angioneogenesis, or angiogenesis, which means increased blood flow. And we result, resulting benefits are all sorts of healing and facilitation and um, all these things. Now, guys, this is not something that we're claiming. This is something that's been measured and been documented. So that means it's something that when we start experimenting in it, we will find it, okay? It's like it's proven. You're going to find this. Here's what you're going to find. It's not like you might find it. It's like the trip computer on your, on your, on your, your, your car. You will turn on exit 9. It is there. Trust me. We've mapped this before. We know exit 9 exists. So you're going to go through these processes and experience these things. Light-activated biostimulation shows that it's sort of changing the function of ATP production helping us with the, pr the process of Krebs cycle that occurs inside. How the light therapy works, the magnitude of the biostimulatory effect of light therapy depends on the, the physiological condition of the cells and tissue at the time of radiation. It's compromised due to aging, injury, or disease. Cells respond more readily than healthy cells. Sometimes the location of the symptoms is different than the, than the source of the problem. Example, lower back can be a result of an issue in the neck or the shoulder region. So oftentimes by treating distal areas, you can get you know, distal effects, um, which we know about that from, you know, working the way we do is in, in musculoskeletal work. And, of course, these are the red and the, um, the, the wavelengths that are being affected, absorbed by the epithelial cells. They're upregulating the ATP process and cell migration and the angioneogenesis or angiogenesis. Blue light at 465 nanometers is more of a singlet oxygen is produced, and it, this is where you get the uh, correction of acne and the... Um, Phototoxic reaction is caused by the singlet oxygen, which is a bactericide. So it's actually cleansing and, and, and unburdening and sparing the immune system on the skin. The red dominant light is absorbed by the fibroblasts. You get an upregulation of ATP process. You get collagen in a, collagenesis, and you get elastin in production. So, you know, it's sort of exciting to look at these things because if these things, you know, are true, which have been measured and documented, it tells us that we can do things that we never dreamed of doing before, right? So acupuncture and light therapy, researchers at the Institute of Clinical and Experimental Medicine found that only certain areas of the body were able to transfer light beneath the surface. These areas corresponded to the acupuncture, point, acupuncture points. Light is conducted within the body along these acupuncture meridians, think like optical fibers, which is the body does have con conducive pathways. Most of those pathways lie along bony protuberances because the bones themselves are electronic, right? Anything made out of a metal, calcium, is going to be an electronic transporter. So most of the acupuncture points are located along bony um, events. I think that if we really got and understood this device, we would basically be saying to people, it's possible to have an anti-aging device like this. And I, I have sold this for you know probably 10 15 of the, of, the, of the units that I've sold has been to tell people, you'll have this for the rest of your life. It will allow you to be able to work with, you know, giving yourself, you know, an, a reduced aging process by doing this the rest of your life. So we have to think that, the, that these devices are influencing more than just us. So they're inf influencing the microbes and that live on us. So we know that 
a portion of this device is antimicrobial. At one level for this acne, it's probably antimicrobial for many more species than just that. Um, and again, this is not proven, therefore they can't state it, but we can start to experiment with that. So, you know, today I told you about that lady with the boil. She probably would have been very good therapy for her to do the Saluma device, right? So the, the other thing that we, that we you know, know is that there are lots of sort of anaerobic bacteria, and there's all, lots of things that grow in the dark. Okay? So by bringing more light to the body, we are probably inherently you know, sort of clearing that out. I think working on the skin at that level alone is extremely significant because it really is your biggest immunological exposure. I don't know how you guys are. I'm less surgical. I'm sort of like saying, how do we upregulate everything and then watch how everything is able to function. I'm not sort of interested in saying you need to have mast cell upregulation. So that's the nice thing about this device. It's not really like so complicated that you have to figure out exactly what wavelength people need. So it mixes it up and it allows people to have all these frequencies. This makes sense to me about the carotenocytes because I have had people come back and report to me that they have less keratoses on their skin, which are you know sort of typical in the 50, 60, 70 year old that starts to get crusty, right? And so they've all reported that that stuff has fallen off using this. I have uh, a couple that bought this for themselves and there was a really, really big keratosis like this on his head and it all totally fell off with the use of this. Okay, so it's pretty exciting from that point of view. The layers of the skin, epidermis, dermis, you know, the subcutis, and there's where keloids are sort of developing. And we know that keloids are basically insufficient healing. It's the, the, the attempt of the body to heal itself without the sufficient nutrition to be able to get that to happen. So I think that what we're doing again with the Saluma device, especially with people that are like healing from surgery, especially people that are like healing from pregnancy, they're trying to get their skin to go back to normal. They're, they're also people that are healing from being overweight, trying to get their skin to shrink down, people that have lost 80 pounds or 100 pounds. I tell them, I've got a couple of people that bought it specifically for that reason. I said, this is going to increase collagen. This can promote skin repair. This is a hope for you. So the um, enhancing patient outcomes and practice profitability, it can be a good way to, for you to be able to do that, increase sales through this. I'm really looking at Saluma as being a product, pro product that supports my practice and helps me serve people um, better. So I'm not looking at it as a profit center in my, uh, in my office. It turned into that, but not because I was like looking for it to be that. Um, the Saluma is a three-in-one device, blue, red, and infrared. All three wavelengths work synergistically in each program. A perfect combination of sophistication and simplicity. I really want to stress the side of simplicity. This is an extremely simple device. And I've also found of all the devices I've used and purchased them, that none of them have ever broken or malfunctioned. You know, so it seems to be very simple, very roadworthy. Even the original device that I got that's you know, been kicked around, used, used by everybody, taken home, brought and back, is totally operational and doing fine. In fact, my, my receptionist uses it all the time, my office manager, and she brought it back one time and she said, I'm really sorry I broke the device. And I said, really? So I plugged in the plug a little bit further and fixed it. Okay, and you can see the different applications here. I do this one all the time because I think I feel like I'm contributing to my face, you know, continuing to make it look the way my mother liked it, you know, and um, you know, so it's really nice. That we, I think I think it's a brilliant device that they've created in terms of how flexible it is and how it goes anywhere. I think it's really great for wrapping joints that are damaged and injured. The, the recommendations on the unit are they used are recommended to use it how many every how many days? Three times a week. And, I, and that's their protocol and, I, and there's probably great validity in it. And I found a lot of people with really acute um, surgeries and acute injuries to use it you know, multiple times a day and to get really, really significant results. And I have not had anybody tell me to do that. It's just you know the way that we sort of thought it through and the patients did and they told me and so you know what I've, what I've said is I would probably start off by using it every day, multiple times a day, and just keep moving it around. 
What I like about that is that the light therapy is not just local. So if you put it here, it's not just local. It's being carried into the body. The body's getting light activated, light activated, light activated, light activated. I mean, wherever you put it, you're getting light activation. So you're getting a systemic contribution that's humoral from a localized application. But that localized application doesn't have to be on the same spot each time. So you can move it around. I also use it extensively on the feet. You know how your feet get achy and you have all sorts of inflammatory things and sometimes when you get up in the morning your feet hurt? I just, I just sit there sometimes when I'm you know, watching TV or if I'm reading a book or something, I just like sit it down over top of my feet and let it sit there. And you know, away we go. Um, so you know, it's a great way to give yourself, your feet a little bit of a light bath, right? So instead of a foot bath. I also use it extensively for, well, extensively, I, I can't say that like yet, but I've used it automatically for people with Dupuytens contraction, Morton's metatarsalgia, and Peyronie's disease. In other words, the fibrotic activities in these tissues are surface, and it's able to, you can get to it very easily, and you can really change the inflammatory process that's occurring there. And that is something that nobody really, really talks about. So these conditions can really be turned. So I have one guy who has Dupuytens contracture, and I said, buy this device, use this device, change the development. He's now had one surgery, and it's coming back. I said, you know, this is just going to get old for you. You know, this condition is just going to keep propagating. They're going in there, and they're stripping it out, and they're cleaning out your, your tendon and sheaths, but nobody's stopping the, pr the production of this inflammatory um, tissue. I think for people with wound repair problems, you know, failure to close of wounds, things like this, I think this device is going to be excellent. I think you're eventually going to be able to also have light-driven ionotophoresis. Okay? Um, here's our Saluma. It's non-attended versus attended. It's inexpensive versus expensive. It conforms to the body versus no contour adjustment. Large surface areas treated, small focused area treatment. It's polychromatic and sort of monochromatic. Low-level light therapy is the same. Resale, rent to the patient as possible, not so with these cold lasers. It's portable, sometimes it's portable, incoherent light, and the coherent light beam is unidirectional, and it's longer treatment time, and it's a shorter treatment time. So these are the comparisons that sort of show you the advantages and disadvantages. How safe is light therapy? Um, it's immensely safe. In 91, the National Institute of Child and Health and Human Development, along with the Institute of Research and Stroke, declared phyto phyto phototherapy to be safe. Um, there is no risks at all that I've been able to see, and I've, I'm, I'm not hesitant to tell people how to use this or, to let, or let them loose on it. I've never had anybody come back with any complaints at all. That's what happened to me. I, had a, I have a cold laser, and I still use it with some people, especially on really, really severe eye problems. I help them use that and stuff like that. It's one of those classic things. But, and I do it with people with really, really severe wound repair, failure to close of wounds following open heart surgery. But it's starting to change. I think at this point in time, I would start using the Saluma device instead of that. But that's been what I've been using, so I'm predisposed. When they told me what they told me, it made sense. I, I was, they were preaching to the choir. I already believed in light therapy devices. Has light therapy devices reduced my ability to be a nutritionist? Not at all. It's just another adjunctive therapy that I use in my practice, chiropractic, dentistry, anything, acupuncture, massage therapy is all going to be enhanced by these light therapy devices. It's science-based, it's FDA regulated, it's unique, it's versatile, it's affordable, and if you get into the product, there's no competition. So they're not going on the web and finding another device that's like it. They're not going, do you understand? Do you, do you, do you have a lot of people that sort of do that? you know, web thing with you, okay? Saluma, uh, the Biophotos makes it very easy for you to buy this product the way you want to and when you want to. It comes to you very quickly. It ships very light. I've actually shipped it. I shipped one device to the Netherlands to a guy. So it's very, very inexpensive to, to be able to ship around the world. I invite you, if you're ready or when you're ready, to just plan on, like, including this as part of what you do um, with people. And let the patients drive it. So when the patient gets to the threshold and they need that energetic amplification to the next level, you say, hey, this exists if you want to. This could be something you can do. Yes. Is there a question? Yeah.
So if we have a patient that's uh, their health is really compromised, uh, is their ability to absorb the light also compromised? Have you seen that? I haven't seen that. I think if I think if anything, it would be just the opposite.